All right, what is going on guys? This is Brian from Quantum Motor Works bringing you another tutorial today. Uh, in front of us here we have a 2007 Yamaha YZ450F 4-stroke. Um, this is a customer brought this bike in about a month or so ago and uh, wasn't running. Uh, I actually made a little video, I haven't finished editing it yet and posting it onto YouTube. Um, so this is technically the follow-up video, but basically I determined that the valve clearances were tremendously off and the valve timing had actually skipped. And the reason why was because the cam chain tensioner had failed. It wasn't fully extending, it was kind of like binding and the cam chain looked like it kind of stretched. So we're going to go ahead and double check the valves see if uh, make sure they haven't moved uh, replace the tensioner the cam chain the gasket drain the oil and then what we're also going to do is <clears throat> we already overhauled the carburetor and put new parts in it um, what we're going to go ahead and do is per performance jetting kit now there are a couple options out there there are dyno jetting kits uh, JD performance jetting kits uh, we were going to go with a dyno jet, but I don't think they made it for this year. So then we're going to go with the JD jetting, but uh, from our experience, uh, we decided that that wasn't really the best option. So we went with custom tuning from our experience with this model in particular. So we will be putting factory OEM parts in this bike um, that are basically different internals that are specifically tuned for what we're doing here. And then uh, we do have some new tires. Uh, we got the rear one done, we still gotta do the front. Uh, and the icing on the cake is, you can see here, we have an FMF power bomb made it here with this uh, messed up FMF titanium power core. Now this is the titanium model, uh, can't find it. It's obviously expensive or probably discontinued. Lots of power core cues, uh, but we do have the titanium, or I shouldn't say titanium. Uh, I think it's stainless steel or aluminum. Uh, it's the power core, what, this is the three? So I don't know. This is the titanium power core. We'll find out what we got in here. Maybe it says on the box. Hmm. No, it doesn't say, but it's a race pipe. Oh, there it is, Power Core 4. So I think that's the older model, and this is the newer model right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, basically do uh, some fine tuning on this bike to the top end, the carburetor, and top it off with an exhaust pipe. Okay, let's see where we should start. Okay, guys, so first thing we're going to do is kind of start taking off the body, drain some fuel, drain the uh, oil, um, should be straightforward. So do this, uh, we are actually going to use this, I forget what size that is, two and a half millimeter. Go ahead and crack that loose and get your drain pan ready. Use this one, I like this one better. Okay. You want to make sure your fuel valve's off, or it'll just you'll empty your whole gas tank into here. And we're not trying to do that. We're just emptying the carburetor bowl, so we don't make too much of a mess when we change out the jetting. Now go ahead and drain the oil. You use a 12 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead, crack that loose. Drop the funnel. Okay. All right. Let's kind of get your. Okay, hmm. 
not that much coming out. That's not good. Hopefully all the oil didn't leak. There it goes. Got to open up the vent. Okay, so while that's draining, what you can go ahead and do is get our impact gun and start pulling off the plastics. Go ahead and put your drain bolt back in so it doesn't make too much of a mess. Okay. Alright, go ahead and pull off the fuel line. you want to go ahead and do is there's actually a lot got to remove the subframe so now that we have the muffler off go ahead and loosen that bolt on the air box of the Phillips okay go ahead and crack these all loose guys so for this next part we're actually going to remove the rear shock completely upper and lower and now what I like to do you don't have to have you can still do this with the rear tire I just have it off because we're doing a tire change but go and just slide that bolt out Okay, pull out the top one, boom, okay, and then next is to hit the engine mounts. You got to remove the engine mounts in order to do this. Um, it's a little bit easier to do that and then pull out the carburetor. Okay guys, go ahead and use a breaker bar. Oh, oh well. 
Okay. So, go ahead and pull off the hot start. Okay, and then I like to disconnect it at the handlebars and pull it through. We're going to go ahead and leave ours off for the moment because uh, we actually have some new ones. Looks like it comes with the new throttle, throttle tube. So. Okay, so now at this point, usually just go ahead and pull those through. You have to take it off all the way, just enough. If you're going to be rebuilding it, you know, you might want to, but we don't really have to since we're going to be do, we can do most of the work right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. All right. So now, let's go ahead and leave that card off to this carb off to the side. Let's go ahead and start pulling off the top end. See what we got going on here. Okay. Break loose with the five millimeter. Then you can go ahead and. Take a ball end. Take that off really quick. Same thing, this one. Don't ever really want to use a ball end on an impact to initially break it, you'll, you'll break your tool. Okay, go ahead and pull off your valve cover. Okay, then float the valve cover off like that. Go ahead and take off your gasket if you want to. All right, so now go ahead and pull out your timing plugs. millimeter yep. all right and then we're also gonna have to pull out the spark plug forget this one was tricky or not a little bit easier with the valve cover off less struggle Not too bad. It's actually pretty good. It's a CRAE, NGK, CRAE. Yeah, like a Star Tron or something. I, I recommend putting the NGKs in. They're, they're just a lot better. All right, and we're going to rotate this counterclockwise. Make sure all your stuff's out of the way. Oh, it looks like we're in gear. It. So that was the exhaust, and day cam is going down. So now the piston should be coming back up. Let me look, see what timing in a second now. All right, okay, there's the timing mark. It's top to the center. See if our valve time moved. 
Uh, we're spot on. Wow, beautiful. Let's come over here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, so let's take a clearance measurement. All right, guys. So the intake valve clearances are supposed to be three thousandths and nine tenths to five thousandths and nine tenths, and the exhaust are seven thousandths and nine tenths to nine thousandths and eight tenths. So, so let's go ahead and check it with the five on the intakes, top dead center. Oh, it doesn't want to go in there. Let's, uh, let's try a four. Okay, so it likes the four. a four. Let's see if we can get a five up in there. Okay, so I got five on that one. Five on that one. get a five on that one okay not a big deal technically four thousandths is still acceptable but since we're gonna pull the cams out that's kind of like a tight four we're gonna see if we can maybe loosen that one up a tad bit so and the intakes will go ahead and go uh, go five thousandths five thousandths this one's like a tight four okay now let's go ahead and check the exhaust see if we can get an eight to a nine in there i think i got a ten what's this eleven all right let's see if an eight to a ten will go let's see if i can get that ten in there No, too tight. Too tight. Okay, let's try an eight. Okay, it likes the eight. Likes the eight. Let's try a nine. Okay, I don't think I got a nine. USA. All right, let's see. Okay, so that one's nine. That one's tight. Okay, so. Nine fits on that one pretty good. Let's try that eight. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and go with eight and nine thousandths. So it looks like it hasn't moved, eight and nine thousandths. Huh, so, looks like that one, let me see, let me double check that one. See if I can get a seven underneath that one. Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh. so it looks like I can. Did it loosen up? Nope, it's a seven. Nice. Okay, so looks like our valves uh, haven't changed. I don't know how many hours the owner says he's put quite a few trips on it. Um, it's been about a month or so. Pretty sure he's running the hell out of it since he got it back and it's actually was in actual running condition. So looks like nothing's moved. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and let's see eight. Let's see if. Uh, might have to leave that one this four I think we're just gonna leave them to be honest we'll leave them and honestly uh, they'll just you know well actually no this one right here we can make a little smaller that's what that is we can make this one a little bit smaller we're gonna make this one a little bit lower try to bring that down to five thousandths and that'll be good then they'll all be in spec so to do that uh, let's go ahead and first things first, go ahead and crack your tensioner. That's what you would do if you're going to reuse it. Um, we're not going to reuse ours, so we're just going to go ahead and buzz ours off essentially. Okay, go ahead and buzz off your cam chain tensioner. This one right here is pretty much trash. Keep the bolts. Got a new one right here. Okay guys, now we can go ahead and loosen up the cam chain caps. So this is the order to assemble. You're gonna go in opposite, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we'll start with the middle one right here. 10. Eight. Or that was ten nine. And then now eight seven. And then six is actually that one. And then five. And then let's see four. Three, and then two, one. Okay, should be all loose. Just buzz them all loose now. Grab the retainer, try to keep it in the same direction. Okay, that's the intake, those here. Thank you. 
Okay, so now what she would technically do is uh, string this up. It's not really too critical for us because we're going to be actually replacing our cam chain. But we're still going to do it anyways because when you pull the flywheel, um, when you pull the flywheel, it could spin the crankshaft just a little bit, and if it buys up the chain, it could damage the cases. So, regardless, you always still want to wrap it up. Okay. Go ahead and pull out your cams. Main. All right, guys. So cams out. Took our measurements. Got the cam chain. You can see it's all. It's kind of kinkling up. It's no good. <coughs> so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is pull off the valve cover, or pull off the stator cover. Go ahead and clip any zip ties holding it on. Disconnect stator plug. Okay. Get your gloves, eight millimeter. We're gonna buzz all those off. I also have to buzz off that eight millimeter on your shifter. Let's go ahead and buzz off this cover. find a good pry point. There it is. All right, making a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess right here. Let's see what happens. Holy fuck, yep. Making a fuck ton of a mess. Damn. Oh fuck. Ah. Uh. All right. I'm just gonna make a mess. Fuck it. It's okay. We got a new gasket. Holy fuck. Oh no. Hurry. Thought I drained out all the oil. Guess not. Now all we gotta do is buzz off this nut right here. What I like to do is kind of hold the can chain tight so it doesn't spin. Okay. There's your bolt. All right now. your flywheel tool okay this one right here is a m24 by 1.5 thread pitch see how it threads right on okay what you gotta do is you gotta put this on over the shaft to protect the threads you don't really screw it on all the way leave a little bit of a gap And then thread this all the way out. All right. Make sure you get it on there pretty good. Okay. Got a good amount of threads. It stopped right there. Okay. All right. Go ahead and use your impact. Just kind of lightly buzz it off. Boom, and there it was. Should come off as one assembly. So you unscrew the tool. And voila, here's your flywheel, undamaged. All right guys. So we got everything taken apart, cams out, flywheel off, 
Let's go ahead and uh, change out that one valve that we need to change the left intake. Okay. Oh, need the other size. Okay. So, let's see. The valve that we currently have is So seventy five, eighty one, two, three, eighty three, and five tenths were about. Yeah, we're about eighty three and five tenths. So we're at seven. Means we gotta go up to so eighty three and five tenths, we need to go to eighty five and five tenths. So this looks like it's a 210. Let's go ahead and put that back. Let's go up to 15 okay so we're at 75 80 we're at like 80 80 let's see So that's 75, 80, 85, about 85 and 5 tenths. So we're going to go ahead and go with this shim right here. Okay, just go ahead and grab a little bit of oil. Put a little bit of oil on your shim. Put the numbers facing up. Go ahead and Put your shim back in. Make sure it pops back into place. All right. Go ahead and grab your lifter. Looks good. Go ahead and pop it back in. Okay. So now we can go ahead and uh, replace that cam chain before we go any further. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter and an impact. All right, 10 millimeter. Go ahead and buzz these off right here. All right. Should be able to slide out your cam chain now. off like that okay. undo your safety wire now you can go ahead and feed it up through the top and voila you can see this is a that's a bad cam chain Toast. 
Thing's fucking toast, look at that. But, on the bright side, got our customer brand new one right here. Brand new. It's the cam chain test. Alright, go ahead and get a little bit of oil. You get a little bit of oil on it. Go ahead and get your safety wire. Go ahead and slide it back down under. Make sure it's straight from the top. Yeah, it looks good. All right, go ahead and tie it up. Cam chain guide bolts back in. Make sure your cam chains. Might have to keep it a little tight. There you go. All right. So, what I'll do is I'll let's go ahead and put a little bit of blue Loctite. It's a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. Okay. Take your impact gun, just slightly Snug them down. All right, looks like we gotta pull off the header. Let's see if we can do that easily here. Take it off. Okay. Let's see if we can go ahead and cut it, and make some sparks. See if that does. Wow. This thing's freaking. Let's see if I can pry it off. There it goes. Hmm. Looks like I just barely nicked it. Not bad, you saw how fucking tough that was.
right. So let's see how the new one fits. Ooh. Let's try this. See if that makes looks like it's pretty round, so hopefully it was just burrs. Put the Allen in. Okay. Get the nut on. Okay. And then. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and cinch this up a tad bit. Maybe a little bit more snug than that. Okay, there we go. It's a little, little bit more. frame. Okay, almost there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Looks like the subframe isn't uh, severely bent. Holy cow. God dang, this bike is... Whew just keeps going just keeps going okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and bolt the subframe in place all right okay. looks 
good. See how it kind of pulled it over a little bit? That's why I leave everything loose. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, Shazam. That's pretty much it as far as the exhaust system. We're tuned, ready to go. Well, okay, let's go ahead and put the seat on. Alright, seat on. Let's go ahead and get the side panels. Some bitch. Mm hmm. Show that to your mama. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's put some grips on it. Alright, guys. I'll show you how to throw on some grips really quick. Usually, grips are pretty easy. Don't really need any tools. Not sure what's going on here. Let's see. We got two stroke, one across. Oh, a snap on throttle cams. Can be. Oh, hmm. Looks like there's directions. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so. We got a uh, Cam J. Here we go. Yamaha YFC 450 stroke. Hmm. Cut off is 2015. Let's see if they have. Lock on grips looks like we're going to need a little. like these ones right here just slide right on there it is nice 
I don't even really need a safety wire these to be honest. slips <clears throat> there we go that's fucking locked on <clears throat> okay it's rock and roll cam A that all right throttle cables come on over little baby all right feels great so just got to put on that rear back tire and uh, this donut grip right here and I think she's rideable I don't know what do you guys think <clears throat> yeah there we go that's a nice bike I just want to start it up, but it's pretty late. I might piss off the neighbors. <clears throat> yeah. All right. All right. Last, we're going to go ahead and put in this uh, screen and the spark rester. Uh, sure, it won't make that much difference in sound. It's not like it's a, a muzzle or anything or a, a restrictor. It's just a so our guy doesn't get a ticket if he's out riding in Glamis or out in a national forest and actually just so he just doesn't burn down the forest you know nobody wants to do that so go ahead and put a spark arrestor in there slide and slide the axle through Looks 
like everything's put together properly. Okay, that's it. She's ready to ride. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Oh wait, we haven't started up yet, but just in case. Thanks for watching my video. Hit those comment boxes. If you like what you saw, leave a question, thumbs up. All right, guys. Yamaha is good to go. Let's fire it up and see what happens.